Hi all, Danny here. Welcome to another video and in this video I'm just going to be going over the top three niches for Q2 and just giving you a few ideas so hopefully you can make some sales in the next coming months. Just for those who don't know, so Q2 covers the month of April, May and June and there's a lot of interesting things going on then. So let's start off with April. So for the month of April, we're going to be taking a look at Easter and Easter is usually pretty much quite saturated. People will tell you to create coloring books and activity books. But to be honest, when I checked the results, they were pretty high numbers. So I think a better way to niche down is by doing dot markers activity books. So we can already see the results are only 160, which does give you a great chance of actually selling one of these books. I am a bit surprised that self-publishing Titans has given us a keyword niche score of 26 which is quite low, but there's definitely massive potential with this niche. So on the first page, there are 60 books and of these 52 are independently published, which lets us know that independently published books do well in this niche. And just looking at the average BSR, it is around 644,000. However, the closer it does get to Easter, the BSRs are going to go right up. And finally, it gives us an average price of $6.87. So just scrolling down to take a look at some of these books, we can see this first book here with a BSR of 16,862, uh, independently published and just has quite a simple cover with uh, a bunny and an egg as well. To the far right, we can also see another Easter dot marker activity book with kind of a, a similar cover with a bunny, um, an egg and a chicken this time. It has a BSR of roughly 195,000. So scrolling further, we can see a few more books. I'd probably say these two covers are a bit more bright and vibrant, uh, quite eye catching. And they also have good BSRs of 27,000 and 116,000. Uh, that's the same book we've already looked at. Then to the far right, we've got an Easter Bible story. So that might be another niche that you want to do as well. This one has a BSR of three, roughly 314,000. But again, the closer this gets to Easter, that's probably going to go right up as well. So let's take a look at one of the best selling independently published books in this niche so we can get an idea of how to create something like this. Looking at their title, you can see that they've targeted ages two plus. You can see it was released around a year ago, uh, roughly a similar time a few weeks ago. So it's definitely a good idea to get these books out now as soon as possible. This one has roughly 72 pages and it's 8.5 by 11. So just viewing the inside of the book, they have a nice first page with a, this belongs to also. And then going on to the next page, it's always good to have a let's practice with the dot markers and then make sure you leave the next page blank. And it's not showing much more, but fortunately on the back cover, we get an idea of the designs. Um, so it's pretty simple illustrations of Easter animals with circles inside of them, which can be easily done in Canva, Illustrator or whatever design software that you use. Just to add on for April, a few other events you might want to create designs around. We've got Parkinson's Awareness Month in the US, Autism Awareness Month again in the US, Earth Day and St. George's Day in the UK. So for May, the biggest thing that's happening then is Mother's Day in the US. So the closer it gets to Mother's Day, there will be a lot of traffic for gifts and there is a lot of potential for money to be made. However, if you're just going with the generic Mother's Day coloring book or maybe Mother's Day journal, those keywords are pretty much saturated and you're not going to expect to make hardly any sales. However, if you can try to be maybe a little bit cuter with your title, such as in this example, 100 questions for mum, and then maybe in your subtitle, then you can put Mother's Day gift, then you might have a little bit more of a chance of getting sales. 
just looking at this particular keyword, we can see that self-publishing titans has given us a keyword niche score of 43 and currently showing total results of 887. And on the first page, 11 of the 52 are independently published. So you might need to run ads in order to get on the first page. We can also see the average BSR is currently 531,000, which will go right up the closer it gets to Mother's Day. And the average price is $12.03, which is really good to make more royalties. So taking a look at the books, the kind of specific thing I wanted to highlight was, yes, there may be 887 results, but for this specific keyword, I could only find maybe one to two books. So I really do feel that if you do have a quality cover and interior, then you can really do well in this niche. So the main book that we're going to be taking a look at is this first book here. It's not an independently published book, but it does have a BSR of 55,000. The other books to the right, they don't have the keywords that we're looking for, but they can also give you ideas for your journal. Scrolling further down, we can also see two books to the middle with similar titles. However, they don't have great BSRs and to me their front covers don't really attract you to purchase the book. To the far right we also have one for dads as well so it might be something you want to think for Father's Day also. Scrolling down even more you can see some similar books. Again they don't have the same keywords but you can get ideas. So for example instead of doing 100 questions you can do maybe 150, 250, 300. And yes, it will probably take more time, but it's just a way of standing out from the crowd and creating something unique. Just continuing to scroll down, we can see that you can't really see any other books with the same exact keywords in this niche. So there is a good chance if you create in this niche, then you can get on the first page. But let's quickly take a look at the inside of the book that I spoke about at the start. And you can get a really good idea of the quality of book you're going to have to make. So you can see that the exact keywords are used in the title. It was created in October, so you are looking around four months ago. It's got quite a lot of pages. You're looking at 140 and you're looking at roughly eight inches by eight inches. Maybe I would go with 8.5 by 8.5. And looking at the interior, it is colored interior. So with KDP, you're probably just going to have to limit that to maybe 40, 50 pages just so you can get a good profit on that. Otherwise, you're probably looking at a black and white interior if you want to create the same amount of pages. So you can see the content such as early years, passion and pursuits, love and friendship, life lessons, followed by a short introduction with some beautiful imagery. Then before the start of each chapter, it's just got a short explanation in regards to what they should be writing about. So other events in May include Mental Health Awareness Month. We've got Military Appreciation Month. We've got Teacher Appreciation Week. We've got National Nurses Week. You have Eid, you have National Space Day, and you also have Cinco de Mayo. Now looking into June, one of the biggest events that will happen in June is Father's Day. Now for this, something that I'm thinking about is creating children's books. And I just think with these, you have the opportunity to create something unique and touching to celebrate dads. And you can also do the same for Mother's Day also. But I've just typed in these keywords for an example. So we've got Father's Day books for kids, giving us a keyword niche score of 43. There is a total result of roughly 5,000 but I will show you easy ways to niche down and then maybe you can use the keywords in the subtitle. An average BSR of 213,000 and also an average price of $9.84. So let's take a look at a few books just for ideas. So we can see here why a son needs a dad. I really like that title and the book will probably go on just to explain the reasons behind this. We've also on the other hand got why a son needs a mum and this is just a celebration of the bond between a mother and her son. Then to the right we've got just me and my dad. Scrolling further down to the right hand side we've got why a daughter needs a dad. We've also got the night before Father's Day. 
So you can imagine all the stories that you could create around this. And to the left of that, we've got dad and me setting fart free, which is quite a funny title and farting books around any topic usually do really, really well. And this is an independently published book. So let's take a look at it. So one of the things I would highlight is that it is part of a series. And that's one of the fantastic things about children's books. Once you have a good book, then you can create a series around them. And as interest grows, then you'll get more sales. It also has around 39 pages and you're looking at 8.5 by 8.5 inches. So just viewing the interior, we can see that these aren't actually too complicated to create. You can find images on websites such as Creative Fabrica and then put the images together in a software like Canva or whatever design software that you use. Or the other option is to invest in an illustrator on a website such as Fiverr or Upworks. And finally, if you did want to niche down and find a title that you could go with, then I would suggest typing in some of the titles into the Amazon search bar, such as why a son needs a dad, see the results that come up and then maybe creating your own title from that. So you can see this one's got roughly 1000 results. Let's say we put in, I love you, daddy. We can see this has got over 600 results. So it's just a, a way to niche down. Then you can still put Father's Day books for kids in the subtitle or maybe seven keyword slots. There are other channels that talk about children's books more such as The Home Boss and Keith Wheeler. So definitely check out their channels. There are quite a few interesting days happening in the month of June. So instead of me having a list of those I have attached, the link of the National Days website in the description so you can take a look at those and target any events that might interest you. So thanks for watching another video and wishing you all the best for Q2.